All right, hello. Uh, I'm Renee Amador. I'm the CEO and co-founder of AR Wall. We're an AR uh, technology company based in LA. Uh, we uh, were founded in January 2017, and we came to market four months ago. I'm very proud to say that we won the South by Southwest Accelerator Top AR VR Startup of 2018. Uh, we were also named one of the top innovators in motion picture effects by the International Cinematographers Guild last month. And uh, we, last month, we also uh, launched a pilot program. We got 45 companies signed up. It includes creators such as uh, Freddie Wong, Mike Diva, and MGM Studios. So we're here to get rid of green screen for filmmakers. If you actually ask filmmakers, um, they tell you they hate green screen. And uh, its uh, performances suffer, it's creatively limiting, and um, it takes months to complete these shots. So if you were to imagine a better alternative here, it would have to be an industry-wide disruption. It would have to serve blockbusters and indie films alike, which is exactly what we've made. Our flagship product is the AR wall effect system. So we're telling filmmakers, you can make films the way you, you can do your job again, make films the way you want to when you first fell in love with filmmaking. Light and dress your actors and sets the way you want, move the cameras without limitation, uh, and most importantly of all, the cast and crew can see into your world live on set. So our tech is proprietary and patent pending, here it is in action. In order to get these same types of creative freedoms, you'd be spending thousands of dollars uh, per shot, and there's thousands of these shots per, uh, per film, so that's one of the reasons budgets are so high. So LED panels are already an established technology. Uh, they were used in Star Wars, Gravity, uh, competition shows, talk shows. So uh, this is an established tool in filmmaking. Um, and uh, studios already own these for the most part. What we do is we add a lot more usability and value to these screens. A fully animated world in there. Uh, it's reusable and explorable and uh, has depth and parallax, which is the key part. So we're, t we're giving creative freedom back to filmmakers. It's cheaper, better, faster, true disruption. Um, and uh, th this is an in-camera composite. There's no post-production involved. And this is real photons spilling out of the virtual environment and hitting the actors and sets. So uh, we license the system. We license scenes for the system. We also operate and create content for the system. Uh, uh, Productions that use us can expect to save 40% off of their effects budgets and months in post-production. So we're post-revenue. Uh, we do film, TV, uh, commercials, music videos, 360 video. Uh, we also do experientials. We're getting just as much interest to do experientials, these are branded selfies, as we are to do the actual motion picture effects on these projects. Our first client was an NBC Universal Netflix uh, show called Night Flyers, which is coming out this fall. Uh, it's created by George R.R. R. Martin. It's his next show after Game of Thrones. It's a major A-list space sci-fi coming out this fall. So uh, we're entirely founder funded. We, uh, we have a diverse team with 82 years combined experience creating high-end illusions for film, TV, and games. Uh, myself, I, uh, create, uh, I ran a digital agency and production company with uh, Jocelyn and Eric for eight years. And Leon Hui, our CTO, has shipped 15 AAA titles. Uh, and those brands at the bottom are prior brands and companies that we've uh, worked with. We also have a great support team. I'll highlight John Canning, who was a VP of product at Disney and VP of interactive at NBC Universal when we first worked with him. So we've taken an expensive, labor-intensive service and turned it into an efficient digital technology. So we are a technology company. We license out to great companies uh, to, to actually do the deployments on this. We also have a marketplace uh, that serves um, as a cheaper alternative to actually get pre-built stock scenes. And uh, there's going to be hundreds of scenes up there on that marketplace. That's one of the uh, ways we're going to scale. And our goal here is to become the number one provider of sets uh, in the world. Um, Let's see, so we're raising 1.8 million to achieve this vision. Our strategic partners, Technicolor and Unreal Engine, also serve as models for the type of successful trajectory we'd like to have as tech companies in entertainment, building foundational tools and then spilling out. For us, it's all about building a brand pedigree in enter entertainment as the most high-end AR illusions in the world, which we've been doing. So this is a $2 billion market opportunity. How the heck do we get there? Um, so there's 400 major media clients worldwide. Licensing for our system, for them alone, is about a billion gross. In addition to labor, creative, the additional products that we have, as well as the thousands of other uh, 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 companies out there. 
So what's next? Um, beyond entertainment, we have an interactive version of our core technology called AR3D. We're launching with AAA IP content later this year. That's it. Thank you.